Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live base build video. This is a Town Hall 9 one, um, so it's going to be a little bit trickier for me to do because I am a Town Hall 10. I've been so for a long time, not a long time, but for a while, and I I haven't practiced building bases for Town Hall 9. I literally, literally just logged on to this Town Hall 9 account, so shout out to, I think it's Fahim who provided this account. And uh, it's not, you know, max defense. A lot of this stuff's not uh, Town Hall 9 fully upgraded, but it still has all the defenses, and I think it should be fine uh, for this base building video. So thanks to Fahim for that, and for uh, San, who set it up. I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, we're just going to get right into it, and I'm trying to use a, a design that I believe worked pretty well um that the opposing clan used just from memory because as you guys know the clan challenge only lasts 24 hours i found out the hard way if, uh yesterday so um i don't have the base exactly but i'm going to do kind of a concept i thought it used which was very nice and it involves putting the bomb tower in the middle now typically you only want to do this with a max bomb tower i wouldn't put a level one bomb tower in the middle but this is kind of assuming you've gotten that bomb tower upgraded which doesn't take too long um from there what i going to do is just kind of make a compartment around it like this and keeping in mind that town hall nine you know we're trying to defend against air that's probably the primary thing um hogs haven't been as dominating as i as a lot of people thought they would i actually didn't think they'd be that powerful i thought they'd be pretty powerful but not a whole lot hogs are definitely an issue to, to have to worry about though so we'll have some giant bomb action i'll talk about what we're doing for hogs uh, as we get later into the video but this base should, if I build it right, which no guarantees, be able to defend against a lot of different strategies. So we're putting some Teslas in the middle here. Um, and then we'll have a bunch of air traps in this kind of area as well uh, once we get into that. But for right now, uh, we'll just skip that step. Uh, we're going to put some wizard towers down, basically surrounding this area. Um, this kind of doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical and the base probably won't end up being so. But just for right now, it's about that area. We'll actually kind of slide these guys over uh, because we're going to put our CC right over here. And we're going to kind of have that lead into our queen compartment, uh, which we'll just throw up here. I think we'll have the king separate to help work on hogs and stuff. As long as the queen is relatively well protected, which she will be, um, there's no point having the king by the queen, in my opinion, uh, at Town Hall 9. It doesn't really bring a whole lot to the table. So I think we're not going to worry about that. Uh, we will put an air sweeper probably right in this area. These are important. You want to have these air sweepers in good positions because the air defenses aren't going to be in the best spots. And that's fine. That's, that's why this base is even good against air because the air defenses are not where you'd think they normally would be. So let's fill in the rest of this compartment here. Um, the CC and the queen will be in the same thing. We'll kind of just have um, probably a few compartments, kind of like how I used to on my Town Hall 9 bases, uh, kind of going out around here just to better protect the queen, really, uh, because it's it's important that they can't just do kind of like a trade or anything with her. You want to make sure she has some good protection up there. So we'll kind of make that even a little deeper. Um, don't want her to get hit with the queen walk if we can help it. So we'll make sure that really um, is covered. And I think that'll be just about fine uh, for the queen. Actually, let's go ahead and just save those walls as I look at it. Because, I mean, if they do a queen walk, I guess she'll get aggroed anyway. But we'll put, like, the town hall there. We'll put some HP. So if they want to do a queen walk to take out our defensive queen, it's going to take a lot of, uh, of troops to get the queen in there if they want to do it in any reasonable amount of time. So now let's get these compartments filled in. Those look pretty good. <clears throat> and what the air defenses are going to do is... I guess I'll get the Expos down first because they're a little more important on this base. Uh, we'll put like an Expo here. And we'll put this Wizard Tower down here actually too. And we'll have like an Expo in this area. Um, we'll have double giant bomb spots. We're going to have two of them. Some people use singles. It's just kind of how, you know, as your preference goes. You can use singles. You can use doubles. Uh, whatever works. But I personally prefer doubles. Uh, double giant bomb sets because if you add just a few single bombs to them they can kill a group of hogs just like the old double giant bomb set could so i, I still like doing that especially because people are bringing bigger groups of hogs these days but it, it's your choice like i said for that um now as far as valks go what we can do is we can have kind of i was thinking about making maybe making a compartment that kind of leads into the base but i'm actually not going to do that so 
I think this base naturally can defend okay against Valks because it's kind of spread out. There's some uncertainty uh, in it. Um, but anyway, let's get some air defenses down. Uh, we'll probably have one just kind of right out here. Um, one probably around this area. These are going to be kind of on the outside of the base. Typically out of range of the wizard towers is best, but uh, not, not necessarily uh, has to be the case. We'll have one like right there and actually we'll probably move that one like right over here and the last air defense will be somewhere in this area. So yeah, they definitely are towards the outside of the base, but we're going to have Teslas in here. Um, we'll think about the expos. I'm not sure if I want ground or air. Uh, it's going to be a tough decision probably and the air sweepers definitely. So we have a lot of stuff in the middle of the base to defend against air. Uh, the idea is that the Lava Hound won't go down. That's not what the idea is. We don't want the Lava Hound to go down, uh, or it's just not necessary. I mean, if it dies, that's fine. But the thing is killing the balloons, and that can be done through the limited range of the Teslas, the Wizard Towers, they can lock onto balloons, and then we also have the, uh, the air sweepers pushing stuff around really just making it hard for the Lava Hounds to tank because there's no central air defense uh, for them to run to. It's kind of a weird spot right there. Uh, but let's keep filling this space in. Um, I just started to make some of the compartments, I guess. We'll have kind of a smaller one right here uh, like that. Uh, then this compartment will kind of go around and like go up to right there. Actually, we'll do one more up to right there. And as far as where the king's going to go, we'll just put him basically on the opposite side of the base right there. Um, we can have this go up and over. How many walls? Yeah, we have a ton of walls left. So we can kind of make some small compartments, which will definitely be helpful. Um, don't want to make the air defenses too easily accessible. So we can, you know, put a storage in front of them or something or a defense. We'll see. Uh, let's kind of cut that off right there, um, down to our level eight walls. Just kind of disregard the wall level, like you have to disregard most levels, unless your base actually is this level. But anyway, uh, let's kind of close this one off right like that. And we can move that back one and have one more compartment that goes like that and then probably find the last compartment um we can probably just extend this one out that might be better um so i guess this will be anti-valk in a sense there's kind of some open uh difficult to predict pathing to some extent on this base um so we'll move that up and actually move that one farther and then we have one extra wall wherever we want it Anyway, that's going to be the basic design of the base, it looks like. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. We can put both these expos on ground. They still cover, or on air and ground, I mean. They still cover a lot of the base. But I think that would just make it even harder to attack with air. And then we'll just start filling stuff in around the base. Let's put an archer tower here. That's a pretty good position. Um, now I want to do double giant bomb spots. So I can just kind of move defenses around a little bit to do that. I want to put one by this expo basically. So I think what I'll do is <clears throat> I think if we move the expo over one, put like a cannon right. This one actually might be kind of tricky to do right now as I look at it. Um, how are we going to do this? We can... Actually, let's, let's do this. We'll put the cannon over there. That's fine. We'll put the, the double giant bomb set kind of by the uh, the air defense. Um, so we'll take move this all over one. And actually going to move it over another one, actually. Um, just select this entire thing. Move it over to right here. And put that up there. We can move this out. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we're going to have the double giant bomb set right between these two things. And I guess to kind of help out, we'll move the cannon away. Uh, we'll put the cannon like right there. Put a DE storage right there. Um, a builder's hut here because we're going to have a spring trap right here just so they can't make it too easy to uh, trigger this. 
Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put giant bomb, giant bomb, and then two bombs between it. That's just going to add a little bit of damage that should make the difference. Um, the pathing isn't great. We can move this out one. Um, hopefully they won't get any kind of weird side pathing if they come from there to there, but we shouldn't. And I think that's a pretty solid design overall. I mean, it's not perfect, but if they're coming from the right angle, that definitely will kill some hogs. Uh, so that looks good. <clears throat> and we can put actually one more bomb just in case it's not the cleanest, uh, the cleanest trigger. We can just kind of have that extra right there. Should be able to get the job done, especially with that wizard tower beating down on them as they come in, along with a few other defenses, hopefully. Um, okay, so on the other side, over kind of by this area, I think what we can do is... Um, I was trying to set it up in a way I could utilize it, but I'm not sure if it's going to work now. Uh, we can... We can do actually is move this air defense to right there. We'll just put like a storage to guard that kind of. Um, then we'll have a cannon right here. And what do you know, right behind it, double giant bomb set. So yeah, obviously we are um, trying to defend against the first attack to a large extent. That's the main purpose. But, um, you know, if they want to send in a few hogs and try to actually that, maybe that's a little bit too exposed that might be a little bit too much as i look at it uh, i don't want it to be the first defense i want it to you know they have to take out a few defenses if they want to disarm it um i think that's over people over protect their giant bombs for sure uh you don't need to uh have them uh like that deep in the base because at that point if the hogs are already in that deep you know there's a good chance they'll trigger it in a weird way it's more predictable and it's more effective typically and more practical to have it towards the outside of the base if you can kind of see what i mean by that uh, maybe you can maybe you can't but anyway uh trying to see where this other double giant bomb set could go it is a tricky one to know i definitely want to keep it away from the queen because it, if they do like a stoned hobo um they might just uh just come for the queen and take out like all the stuff near her so i want to keep it away from her in that sense um let's see what we can do here uh i mean it'd be nice to put it this this kind of a weird compartment setup uh, it's probably one of the first times i'm actually like trying to figure out what can i do for my base here uh on a live base build uh let's move this back i think we have how many walls do we have just one to work with unless we move stuff around um, we can move this over one, move this like that, um, make that one wider, <clears throat> then we could actually put an archer tower in here, um, builder's hut there. Just hanging a little out, hanging out a little bit too much is what I'm afraid. I want it. I don't want them to be able to just use a few balloons to kind of disarm that if they know about it. So we will actually um, move down that down there. See if we can get this done. We'll put the double giant bomb set right here. It is borderline a little bit too close to the queen. I think it should be okay though. Um, and what we can do is we can put a, kind of a sneaky, where are my Teslas at? Where are the, oh, they're all in the middle. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to take one Tesla then and put it right there. Um, now there's a hole in the base. This is getting kind of complicated. I think uh, that should go, what should we do with this air defense now? <laughs> um because right now it's just going to be a single trigger pretty much all around. Um, let's remove that there and put that like that, in which case it'll probably still be a single trigger. Yeah, this is hard to know. Um, what we can do is... Now I'm screwing up the walls here. <clears throat> let's put the Tesla back. Oh, sorry for wasting time. I mean, this is taking a long time to do, but got to figure out how we're going to do this. Um... Okay, let's move the wall back like that, all the way over there. Fill that in, we can move that over like that. Take a wall there, um, move that back there, there, 
how many walls we got now? Uh, one, two. Okay, that's good. We can move this one farther out. Uh, yeah, we have we have room to move that one farther. Okay, okay, here we go. Now we can put the bomb set between two defenses. If we move this just one farther over, come on, here we got this, we got this. Uh, we can put it between these two defenses, right like this. Um, we can put a, move this in one. Put the mortar here, a cannon here. Uh, put like a storage up here and put a Tesla just to catch anything right like that. Okay, finally got that. Not the best even still, but at least we got that done. Um, because this area has a lot of DPS, we can throw some extra DPS and not have to worry about it being queen walked or anything. Uh, we'll put a storage here just to protect the air defense. Don't want them to have too easy of a trade. Uh, that right now they can use a few hogs, but that's okay for like one or two of the air defenses. Uh, we'll put a mortar out here to protect this one. And uh, we can actually put a mortar over here. Don't want a direct target of the air defense because that could open it up for some uh, air attacks that might not be the most favorable. But if they are exposed, that's fine. That's kind of the point of this base so far. Um, this Tesla's out of range of all the air defenses. This one, we can move it over one. That one definitely is. And actually, let's move it a little bit away from the queen compartment just so that uh, it doesn't get hit by a bowler too easily. Uh, from there, what other defenses do we have? We have an archer tower we want to throw down. Uh, I think we're out of walls at this point, but um, what we can do is we have to fill in probably an archer tower up here. Uh, we'll put one right in here. Uh, put a cannon there, a cannon here. Uh, we'll put the town or the storage there, town hall up here. Uh, storage there and a great thing about this is they have to probably use a jump or actually I guess they could use wall breakers but it would get a little bit tricky to use wall breakers to kind of get into this compartment definitely would you know be a possibility for a wall breaker fail if they didn't use the jump I think we got pretty much the defenses down uh, for the most part uh, yeah this bit this part of the base is gonna have a lot of storages in it kind of up top by the Queen but that's actually good that's what we want because uh, it's really separating the queen off. It's going to make it, um, you know, there's enough defenses. I think it's going to be relatively difficult, especially with the storages, to get in there and take out the queen. But um, at the same time, we're not wasting too much if they come from that direction. We definitely have a lot for the rest of the base. Um, we are going to put some bombs right in here. Not the probably the easiest to do, but if we move that actually one farther out like that and put our cannon like there, we can put a bomb there and put some in between that's what you want to do the giant bombs have a much greater radius so if there's no risk of them being hit by a, uh, a like a one a single trigger one at a time trigger if there's no not much risk of that you can spread them out by one and that that that'll probably be easier if these are kind of staggered like they are and then in that case you can have you know, two small bombs between them to add to that damage, uh, kill as many hogs as possible. So yeah, that looks good. Uh, for spring traps, we can uh, put one right out there, uh, put one between these defenses. That'll help for Valks too, especially. Uh, we'll put one behind that archer tower, one back here, and anything else we need uh let's see we have pretty good positioning on our spring traps for the most part we can also just uh um move that back one we can put like a spring trap right here um actually that might not be the best placement i doubt there'll be hogs coming through that area let's put a spring trap pick this guy up and put him uh Put it back right there. Move the mortar to right there. 
that should get a hog or two. Okay, uh, base looks pretty good. Let's get the rest of these traps in. Uh, we want to have some skelly traps to, we'll put them on air just because that is a little bit of a risk. I think this base will be pretty solid against ground attacks. I actually do think that's the case, especially with these kind of small compartments here, really making it difficult to, uh, to kind of power your way through the base. They kind of act as a, a buffer. Uh, we'll put some skelly traps right in here. We want them uh, to take out the balloons, uh, not just get stuck on the lava hounds. So we'll put them pretty far into the base. Put the other one right there um, like that. And then we can put our uh, sneaking air mines. We'll go ahead and put them on the uh, some of these air defenses. We'll put one there. We'll put uh, one back here, just because we do want to get some damage on the Lava Hounds, but we'll also go ahead and have one back in here and one back out here. Um, now we'll just kind of surround this core with the red air bombs, being very careful. The red air bombs are important. Do not put them in range of those air defenses. Uh, you will pay for it if you do. The Lava Hounds will just soak it up. That's all that will happen, uh, so no point doing that. But yeah, it looks like I have pretty much everything down. Wasn't the easiest base build. Maybe this base is good, maybe it's not. You guys can let me know uh, in the comments what you think. But that's what it looks like. Uh, let's just kind of go over why it looks like it does before this video gets too long. Um, basically, the queen is up on her own. Uh, she is very valuable, especially because air attacks are more popular. And uh, we, well, actually, am I gonna move her? No, we'll keep her in that spot. But yeah, she's up at the top of the base, uh, away from a whole lot of defenses. I guess you could probably put like an expo in her compartment as well. If you're afraid, it'll be too easy to take her out as, as it is right now. That could be the case, but I definitely wanted to keep her uh, very pr uh, protected, but also away from air defenses and away from a lot of a whole lot of other defenses. So you can't get a whole lot of value just by coming at the queen. Uh, the giant bomb sets, double giant bomb sets, very decentralized, definitely meant for a first attack. Um, although I don't think if if someone wants to, you know, especially for that giant bomb set or even this one, if they want to invest, I don't know, six hogs, assuming this base had max defenses, it would probably take like six hogs, invest that amount of troop space to take it out. You know what? That's, that's a trade that, you know, might not be the best, but it's not that unreasonable. Uh, I don't think that's a big concern for this base. And by the way, you can put a troll Tesla in the corner, absolutely, uh, if that's kind of what you're looking for, especially with a base that has lower level defenses that might be three star on the first attack. So keep that in mind. But yeah, like I said, a uh, very decentralized giant bomb sets to kill the hogs as they enter the base. That's the most effective way to do it. Uh, don't put them too deep in the base. Then the air defenses are very uh, spread out along this base, but that's to make it so the balloons die as they come in. Uh, those expos are on uh, pointed up. You can point them down, makes it a little bit more of a risk. It'll help defend queen walks and stuff a little better. Uh, you could move one over to the queen compartment, like I said. That's definitely an option. Um, kind of your choice in the expos, but they're, they're okay as they are right now. I didn't actually point my air sweepers that much. Maybe that's one thing I should do. Uh, that would probably be, I can have them point each other or I could have them pointed out. Uh, that's kind of my options. I can actually have this one point down like that and we'll have this one point over like that. So that way you kind of can't come around them because they definitely are covering a lot of the base. Not covering that far out of the base, but they're covering troops that are coming inside the base. So I think they're also away from the queen, so it's gonna be hard to get with a, with a push to get the queen taken out. So that's good there. Um, spring traps that you can see that the bomb tower is in the middle you know it's going to hopefully do some damage to like bowlers and stuff as they kind of walk up towards the wall but they can't target it but they can target them that's a good bonus um so overall hope you guys like this base build um let me know what you think about it in the comments below this was a really long video i apologize for taking so long to make that second double giant bomb set kind of tricky still not the best even now but i think it's uh it's okay you know it's it's not terrible so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Sectatron out.